video for you guys. Um, I wanted to make a video for you guys showing you guys how I have to clean. This is the mass airflow sensor. Basically, this is for 2009 to 2014 Acura TLs and other model, model um, RDXs and MDXs. Um, basically, what the mass airflow sensor does is um, basically it determines the amount of air that's flown into the engine, into the combustion chamber, um, and it you know regulates the amount of fuel that gets dumped into the motor from the air that gets sucked in, sucked into the airbox, into the throttle, into the engine. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is take this off, these two screws here, one and two. This will be the same for most other model vehicles, other model um, Acuras and Hondas, and probably, possibly other vehicles also. Um, a lot of people would say, you know, disconnect the negative terminal on the battery, but I'm just taking it out and plugging it. So what I'm going to do is just uh, pull on this tab here, pull down the sensor here. Okay, and uh, there's two screws here, one and two. So I'm gonna use a screwdriver and take those two sensors, I mean those two screws out. And from there, um, some of the symptoms that you'll get is like the engine is hard to turn over, it'll be hard to start. The engine stalls after driving for a little while. The engine hesitates, like it feels like the car is dragging backwards. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is take it out. This is how you replace it, and this is also how you take it out and clean it. Um, I have mass airflow sensor cleaner here that I got picked up from AutoZone. Um, basically, what it does is that the mass airflow sensor air gets pulled in through the airbox through the sensor and what it does is that there's a wire that you know detects the amount of air that's going in sometimes it gets dirty so you can clean it and you can you know up the horsepower that you have and you know it'll make your car run better just like it's just like what I do with the throttle body like clean the throttle you clean the the mass airflow sensor and it'll make your ve uh, vehicle drive a little better and everything so what I'm gonna do is uh I'm gonna take out these two screws and then catch back the video for you guys. All right, so right now I just took out the two screws. You have to press down on them really, really hard and then turn it in order to get the screws out. Once the screws come out, uh, the brand name is Hitachi for the mouse sensor. Okay, so now I'm taking out the mouse sensor. This is what it looks like. Okay, and these so let me try to give you a better you see inside there that wire that wire gets dirty and what it does is that that's one that that's the detects that detects the air that's coming in so you clean it thoroughly just with the spray you just spray it off the vehicle okay so that's what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna put it this to the side just spray it don't let it get up to the top here where the sensor is it dries right away just make sure you when you spray it you spraying it on the on the tabs and then you just let it dry and that's it you don't have to touch nothing. You don't have to wipe anything. Don't touch these wires. They're very, very sensitive. You can mess up the sensor that way. You don't want to do that. Basically, what I'm doing is just cleaning the, the wires so it can pick up better airflow from the from the airbox to the engine. So it'll get better gas mileage and better miles per gallon. You could do this like every year or every six months. I do it like every year just to keep the sensors in the car running good. The 04, the 04, what is it? The 04 to 08 TLs doesn't have a mass sensor. Uh, it has a map sensor and uh, the what is it 09 to 14 has the map sensor so if you have one of these on your airbox then you have a map sensor so it's good to clean it and stuff like that it'll kind of sometimes it had a lot of good luck you know uh, with hesitation and stuff and getting the hesitation out on people's cars so after that you let it sit for a little bit I'm gonna let it sit and dry for about 20 minutes, but it's it's, it's already dry. But I'm gonna let it dry for another 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna catch back the video for you guys. 
All right, so what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna put the sensor back in, it's dry. Put it in the direction that it went in. One screw goes here, which one goes here, and another one goes here. So you line it up. Just slide it in. Now, put the two screws back in, one and two. And then, push the connector on. And that's it, it cleans your mask here, flow sensor. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right.